What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add the form to add Meeps to our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add the form so that we can actually post our Meeps to our app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one small fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along with our Twitter clone app. In this video, we're going to add this form so that we can actually submit our meep. So this is a meep, all right? Click submit, boom. There it says this is a meep on the home page. If we go to my profile, it says this is a meep on my profile. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below as well as a playlist with all the other videos in this Twitter clone Django series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our templates, home.html, and this is the home page that we have so far. And if we head back to the website, if we hit reload in our actual website, this is what we have so far. We've got everybody's Meep listed, but we need to change our formatting here and add the form over here on the side. So head back over to our code and let's head over quickly to our profile, that HTML page, and we set up some bootstrap divs a couple of videos ago. So let's just copy these and head back to the home page. And right under our block content, I'm going to paste this in. So this is a column with the size of eight. In Bootstrap, all the columns add up to 12. So we have a big one with eight, and then we're going to have a smaller one with four. So let's come down here and let's see, right underneath this, let's close that div. And then let's head back over to our profile.html page, come down the screen a bit till we see the div with class column four. And then we could just grab that. And we might grab these line breaks too, just for fun. Head back over here and let's see, right about here, we'll put those in. So let's just type in test and save this. Head back over to the web page and hit reload and see if that worked. Yep, so we've got it nice and separated here. We've got test over here and our tweets over here. So now we just need to add the form on the right hand side. Fairly simple. Let's head back over to getbootstrap.com. We're gonna use bootstrap for this. Click on docs and then just come down here to forms and let's click overview. And what we really want is some of this and something else. So let's just copy this whole thing real quick. Come back over here and in our little test section here, let's just paste all this in. Now, we really don't want all of this. We just want the form tag and the button tag for now. But we can give this a method of post. And we also need to give this a Django CSRF underscore token tag. And this will create a cross site request forgery tag, which will protect our form from getting hijacked by hackers. And then we can come down here to this button and I'm going to change this from button primary to button secondary. And then let's change this from saying submit to meep. <laughs> I don't know. So let's go ahead and save this. If we head back to the website, we won't really see anything now except for that button. Uh, but we can look at it if you want. Eh, we got the meet button, but it doesn't actually do anything. I think we're going to create an actual Django form for this because that's a little bit more interesting than just manually creating uh, fields here. So what I'm going to do is head over to our Musker app up here, right click and create a new file, and then file save as, let's save this as forms.py. And you'll see if we close this, it did not show up here. So I'm going to go up to project and refresh folders. Sometimes they show up automatically, sometimes they don't, but there it is. And up at the top here, we want to, from Django, we want to import forms. And we also want from dot models, we want to import our meep model, right? So if we go to models.py, this is the name of our model right there, the meep model. Okay. And now let's just create a form. So I'm going to go class meep form, call it anything you want, but this is a form for meep. So I'm going to call it meep form. And this inherits forms dot model form. And the M and the F in model form are capitalized. And we really just have one field here, right? It's just the body. And this is going to be a forms.car field. And we want this to be required because what would be the point of submitting a MEEP if you didn't actually type in a MEEP, right? So on another line here, let's create a widget here so that we can pass in the type of field that we want for our form. So this is going to be forms.widgets. And this is going to be a text area widget. And that's actually lowercase. There we go. Now inside of here, we need to pass some adders. And this will allow us to 
push things to our form fields. So we're using bootstrap forms and those come with certain classes, for example, a form control class. So we need to push that form control class to our input field on the website. And we do that right here with adders. So first off, I want to put, let's see, a placeholder on our form. And for the placeholder text, I want this to say, enter your musker meep, right? All right. And now we also want to pass in a class. So we can pass in a class called form dash control because all bootstrap forms have that. And that's pretty much it. So after that, we need to designate a label and set that equal to nothing. Because I don't want a label on our form. Now I know this kind of looks like a capital L, but that's a lowercase L. That's just how sublime makes lowercase L's look. So okay, we've got our body. Now let's give this a class meta of model equals meep. And let's exclude user comma nothing. So all right, let's go ahead and save this. So now if we head back over to reviews.py file, we can use this form on our page. So hit, hit views.py. And the first thing we need to do is come up here and import that form. So let's go from dot forms, we want to import our meep form. And that's meet form because over here we called this meet form, right? Now here, one thing I noticed in our homepage, if you're not logged in, it's not gonna pull up these meeps. So let's grab this and pop that over there. Otherwise, let's give this an else. And well, I guess we could do the same thing here. There we go. Now inside of our if request user is authenticated, we only want this form to show up if a user is logged in, right? Because if you're not logged in, you can't be posting meeps because we don't know who you are, right? You have to have an account so we know who's posting the meeps. So make sure if request user is authenticated and let's create a form. And this is gonna be our meep form. And we wanna pass in request dot post or none. So if somebody's filled out the form to post a meep, this will pass it into our meep form. If not, there we go. So let's say if request dot method equals post. So if they're filling out the form, right? Well, let's check to see that the form is valid. So let's go if form dot is underscore valid. What do we want to do? Well, let's create a meep and that's going to equal our form dot save. And let's set the commit equal to false. We don't want to save it just yet because we need to save it for a specific user. So let's go meep.user and that's gonna be our request.user, right? So whoever's logged in is the current request.user. And we're gonna say, hey, oops, misspelled user. We're gonna say, hey, whoever's logged in, that's the meep user that we wanna save this meep for, right? So then we can just meep.save and then we can return, redirect to our homepage. And we can return redirect because up here at the top of the file, we imported redirect. Now we might also want to add a little message. So let's come down here and just grab one of these guys. Come back to the top and above this guy, let's just say your meep has been posted. Something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. Now we need to make one more change to our home.html page up here in our form method post we need to add that actual form, right? So here we need to go form dot as underscore P, but we haven't actually sent that form to the page. So we need to come back to our views.py file and add that. And that's gonna be down here. So right here, we defined our form as this meet form. So we need to pass that into our page in the normal way. We just go form colon form. And there we go. Now we don't want it down here because we don't want that form to show up if the user isn't logged in, right? So that looks good. Let's save this. Now let's head back to this page here and let's only add this, let's say if form, then do all this, right? So end our if, okay. So if there is a form, put it up on the screen, otherwise, don't put anything up there at all. All right, so let's save this, head back over to our website and see how badly we messed that up. Hit reload and boom, enter your Musker Meep. Very cool. 
this is my first web page posted meep. Woohoo! I should note I'm already logged in. I logged in on the admin area earlier. So let's post this guy. Your meep has been posted. Here it says this is my first web page meep. And it has the name like that. We probably want to change this around a little bit. Uh, so let's go back to our home page. And up here at the top, we're just posting just the meep itself. So instead of that, we might want the meep.body. So let's create a small tag with a class of text dash muted. And it's just a bootstrap thing that will make our text, you know, a little smaller. So here we can post, let's say meep dot created underscore at, and then here we can say by, and then say meep dot user dot username. All right, so let me save this and maybe put this on another line so it's easier to read. Save this, head back over to the web page, hit reload, and this is my first web page posted meep, and it says February first, four fifty one p.m. by admin. And we might want to play around with this formatting a little bit instead of, we might want to put an at sign and then this created out, we might want to put in parentheses. I don't know, I'm just playing around here because this is fun. <laughs> Save this, head back over here, hit reload. So I don't know, maybe like that. Maybe you want this on a second, on a separate line. I don't know. Add a line break there. Something like that, whatever you like. Play around with this. And if we head back to my profile. We see again, this is my first web page posted meep. And again, we've got the same formatting. So maybe let's come back over here to our home.html and copy this stuff. And go to our profile page. That's templates profile.html. And right here where it says meep, we might paste all that back in again. Tab all this over. I don't know. Save it, reload it, there we go, and looking good. So pretty cool. This says meep here, we might want it to say post meep or something like that. Come back to our home.html and just for the button here, we might say post meep, I don't know. Whatever you like. Very cool. You notice here it says enter your musker meep, that's the placeholder text. That came from our forms.py file, this placeholder text right here, enter your musker meep, that gets passed into the form. And of course, shows up right there, enter your musker meep. Very cool. So we are moving right along. We've got our form all set up and it's looking pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership so you can access all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.